is your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Here we are looking at the wide world of tropics on November 11th, 2019. Currently 86 storms, average 91. We're on day 314 of the year, getting close to the end. And you can see here 2M in the Mediterranean Sea, Bubul and Nagari. Um, in the Western Pacific and Northern Indian Ocean. Both of those storms expected to dissipate very shortly. No storms are active in the Atlantic at this time. You can see 86 tropical storms, 39 hurricanes, and 26 majors have occurred this year. So the Western Pacific is by far the most active basin. We still have Bobol in the Northern Indian Ocean. Nakari is going to dissipate shortly, but we have 91W and 92W, which are both probably going to develop at some point within their lifespans. 91W will probably develop around the day six time frame, although it could develop in day five. We give it a 60% chance of development within the next five days. 92W is pretty likely to develop within the next two to three days. Got lots of convection on it right now. It's looking good. So as you can see here, we do have um, no storms active in the Southern Hemisphere. And then we get to look into some other storms. Here's Nacre, you can see 40 miles per hour, 1,002 millibars, a stage one on the CDPS, likely to dissipate shortly. Bulbul is going to dissipate very shortly as well, 30 miles per hour, 1,009 millibars. The most interesting thing here is actually 2M. Uh, this is a potential tropical cyclone in the Mediterranean Sea. It's likely to develop relatively soon. This is Nathan Foy's cone, and you can see, um, Probably the forecast of 50 miles per hour before it does hit land here a little later. You can see here the um, what it's soon to be remnants of Nacri moving into better shear, but obviously it's over land, so it's not going to matter all too much in this case. So here's the North Atlantic Ocean. You can see the front in the Central Atlantic, and you can see this um, nice bit of convection in the tropics, this could actually produce, in the MDR, a little bit of vorticity, some models picking up on a um, vort max happening within there. No TC development at this time, but that's something to keep an eye on in the future. The Gulf of Mexico, dead as ever, and likely to remain dead for the rest of the year. But we'll see, definitely could come back has happened before. In the Eastern Pacific, we do have a slight chance of something developing within the next five days out of all those storms there um, in the tropics, but odds are at the moment that's not going to happen. Central Pacific, um, likely nothing is going to develop there, but we will see what does happen in the near future. Western Pacific, you can see Nacri there, and you can see 91 and 92W uh, in their respective locations. Um, 92W just off the screen there, and 91W, that big blob of convection, heading towards the Philippines. The Australian region has nothing really of tropical characteristics to worry about is it going to for a while. In the northern Indian Ocean you can see Bulbul really has lost all of its convection and is probably dissipated at this point if we're being honest. And you can see in the southern Indian Ocean as well as the um, just the southern hemisphere, southwest Indian Ocean, getting into the Australian region, nothing of significance there. So here's sea surface temperatures, they're looking pretty good and you can see them here accordingly. Uh, re they really are um, looking good in the tropics, uh, although you can see obvious cooling on the United States coastline, and you can see it there in the eastern Pacific as well. So definitely things are cooling off as we do head into the winter months in the northern hemisphere, but the southern hemisphere, things are warming. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, 413.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash force 13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook for more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. Teespring.com slash store slash force 13 that's where you can find things like the smug mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash force 13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.